plant questions. Carrie Engel from Ballady Farms is here. Hi, Carrie. Hi, Lisa. And this is a cute little plant. Yeah, this is a ficus, but it's been trained to be a bonsai. Now, this doesn't have any wire on it yet, so it's just going through like some pruning. And we have free classes on this coming up on this Saturday, but okay. actually the first Saturday of every month. All right. So, hey, get a chance, come on out. Okay, try something new. Yeah. All right, I, you know, if you have not, if you did not dig that hole for your <laughs> Christmas tree, your live Christmas tree, what are folks to do? Good luck. <laughs> well, what I would do is if you had that like bald and burlap or even a potted tree inside, mm -hmm. go ahead and pull it out into an unheated area somewhere like a shed, a garage, maybe not where it's five, but mm -hmm. you know, where you might get up in the twenties or so and just wait until you can dig a hole and then get it on outside and get it in the ground. You so can. what do you do about watering it? Just go, I mean, if you can put it in a bucket and water it, not you know, again, you don't want to keep water in the bucket mm -hmm. too much, let it drain away from it. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, if you have a place outside that's a little protected, just take the hose, water the, mm -hmm. the ball and burlap. You can't use and, the hose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whatever. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> okay. We'll figure something out. All right, we got you. All right, let's get to one of our questions. What's the best way to prepare berry patches for winter? In most cases, you, you will have wanted to cut most of them back to get rid of all the brambles that just tend to go everywhere. Mm -hmm. Any um, organic matter, you could add some straw maybe or manure or whatever to put down. And now it's not a bad time. Or as soon as you can get to the soil again, <laughs> do a little bit of a soil test. Okay. Find out where your pH is and that's going to help you out too. Okay. Is there a way to have an organic garden without composting and using a worm garden? I mean, there sure there is, but that the best nutrients you get are going to be organic in nature. So mm -hmm. whether it's from worms or cows or sheep, whatever, you know, get on out there and get some of that in there. Yeah. Um, but the soil, if you have good soil already, not as big a deal, but the plant does need some nutrition. And do make sure with an organic garden especially that you move those plants every few years. So don't grow that tomato patch in the same place every year, move that and put beans there the second year or maybe lettuce or whatever and just keep that sort of mm -hmm. rotating from year to year. But that, yeah, that requires you remembering what you plan and, and where. <laughs> hey, that, that's what these <laughs> smartphones are great. I take a picture and go, oh, that's what I did last year. Oh, okay, now I remember. Yeah. Okay. What are some of the best all natural home remedies for deterring pests from plants? Um, mint works out really, really well. And, and in fact, we were talking about this the other day at my house is um, you take a mint packet, there's something called mouse magic, but mm -hmm. it's basically just mint. And they put a little sachet to put in your grills in like under the cover for your um, lawn mowers, things like that mm -hmm. to keep mice out. So that helps. But mint is great for just keeping things around your plants and doing some companion planting like that. Mm -hmm. So maybe some chives or onions around mm -hmm. some of your plants. Mm -hmm. That absolutely does help. And there are all sorts of natural ingredients now. You can get different animal stoppers okay. or deer stopper right. that'll work. The only thing is mint takes over. It does. You do have to be careful with that. Again, you can just use the ground mint and put little sachets here okay. and there. All right. Thanks, Carrie. All right. Thank you. Up next